We had never been on an ocean cruise before, so we were quite excited when we got to the terminal and saw the marina, an eight-year-old 66,000-ton ship with a guest capacity of 1,250 passengers and 800 staff. The embarkation process, starting at 12 noon, was slick and efficient, allowing us to board, but first I needed to check out the lifeboats. A really pleasant lobby greeted us on entering the ship. Wow, it looked simply grand. What a beautiful staircase. But we had to kill some time, as we could only go to our cabin after two hours, so went about doing some exploring. Going up one deck took us along the polished floor of the bar to the main dining room at the back end of the ship. Gee, what a huge light! The next couple of decks above is where the cabins are, so we skipped those and taking the lift got out on the 12th deck to have a look at the Terrace Cafe. As was the case with the main dining room, the Terrace Cafe is also at the aft end of the ship. Walking towards the bow on this 12th deck, one finds the swimming pool and still further along is a theatre where we would be entertained in the evenings. Here at the horizons we would have sundowners and have a view of the sea ahead. Well, what do you know? A putt-putt course as well as a volleyball court. There are many pieces of art located at various places on the ship. This one matches the glass artwork at the base of the grand staircase in the lobby. Before we were allowed to go to our cabins, we had to attend a debriefing session and a safety instruction, which for us took place in the casino. Some people must be addicted to gambling. To have such a gambling facility on a ship, I could not think of spending any time in this place. It was time to set sail, so the tensions on the mooring ropes were released. But the ship didn't move. The wind was simply too strong, pressing it against the quayside. Eventually, after an hour of attempting to move off, a tugboat had to be called in to assist.
and finally we got going and set sail for the North Sea. But still a bit more waiting was called for. Yay! Eventually we were allowed to go to our cabins where we enjoyed a complimentary bottle of champagne. 